Welcome. They've not even offered us school or not. Yes, yes. It's acting as if it's his wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we, we agree, <laughs> but the moment you marry her, she becomes a wife. <laughs> no, 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 no. My son's wife, not our wife. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Why now, Please come. Problem? Problem like? No, there's no problem. Then where is Josephine? She's around. She's around? Then why hasn't she come to greet us? We have been waiting. She will soon come out. Trust me. Did they tell you anything? They said everything is okay. Osan, what do you have to say? Say something. Uh, let us break the news to them. After all, there is nothing that has no solution except death. You mean you should break the news to them? What else? Someone should call me Fabian Alessandro.
should explain to me what on earth did I do to, to, to deserve this kind of humiliation and I pray from, 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 from Josephine. No, tell me, Uncle, tell me. Let me go, also, let me go. Calm down, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. I am not just interested in this rubbish anymore. Also, also, Uncle. Also, Uncle. Yes, also, what happened? My wife said uh, you came to the house. Yes, and what happened to your phone now? I've been calling you. Oh, this uh, Nepa issue, they refuse to make light available in my area. So, what is it? What do you need that amount of money for at this time? Well, Josephine came. Where is she? She's inside and she's been crying since then. you for money for my school fees or anything you always make me cry why see the most important thing is that I have the money let's not talk about what happened before then hmm?
Thank you. You're welcome. You know I love you. I love you too. And you know also that I'm always heartbroken each time I see you cry. Not well. <laughs> Go back, get job. Excuse me, excuse me. I'm sorry it happened this way. I couldn't find any possible means to tell you. That I don't want to get married until after graduation. I'm so, so sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me for letting you down at this point in time. Josephine. Josephine. Are you aware that my people are seated in your father's living room right now? Waiting to pay your bride price as agreed by both of us, Josephine. I know it to happen this way, but it was so difficult for me to tell you. Sondo, you've done nothing wrong to me, but I just can't marry you. You know, I was actually thinking that I was dreaming. But now it's done to me that this is reality. Just, just for the last time, look straight into my eyes and tell me you never wanted to do this. Go ahead and say it. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. Has he left? Ah, I'm talking to you now. Wait, babe, what are you doing? Are you crying? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not crying. If you're not, let's continue. I'm sorry now. Babe.
I don't care whether you have any reason or not. Now listen, Josephine. If by this time tomorrow I don't see you in this house, then know that when next you are coming to this house, you are coming to pay me your last homage. What did she say? I did not call her to trade words with her. Mama, what is wrong with Sister Josephine? Mama, I don't know. But whatever is wrong with her is very powerful. Abu Dibi Agwanya. Ugoke. Look at the time. It's past 2 a.m. and you're still awake. Don't sleep. I'll be fine. No, brother. You are not fine. You are not fine, brother. Brother, this is the time for you to let go. Let Josephine go. Since it's not the will of God that both of you will live together. You know that everything happens for a reason. Probably it wouldn't have worked out if both of you had married. Please brother, be a man and let go of her. Be calm. Oh brother. What is going on here? What is it? Your brother has refused to go to bed. Asando! Asando! Asando, are you not the one I'm calling? Mama, please, please, please. You people should sleep. Leave me alone. You people should go and sleep. I'm okay. I'll be fine. No, brother. You are not okay. You're not fine. Asando, you know the implication of what you are doing to yourself. Oh. You know it. By the time you develop BP, then you will know what you have done to yourself. Hmm. Get a call for Ogunanya. It's done on you now. Please, don't listen to what she's saying. Oh? Go to your room and stay No, I, I can't go to bed without you. Please follow me, let's go. Brother, please. Please, now. Don't say no. Let's go. Hey, Josie! No, no, no! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! You cannot say anything about our house! You, you, come, come here! Come here! No, Josie! Leave me! You? Do you know the kind of shame and disgrace you brought to this family? How dare you, Josephine? Is it only that one? Our beautiful reputation. This guy has shattered everything. You know what? Come here. Come here! Papa. Out, out, out. Look, calculate every couple or son you spent on your head and send it back to him before the end of tomorrow evening. Otherwise, not only that one. What happens to all the things he brought for the introduction? Oh, everything inclusive. Oh. And my hospital bill. Papa. Thank you very much. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Mama, mama, mama. mama. Nonsense. Mama. Don't worry, Eji Munka. Eji Mia.
just finished. I purposely called you by this time of the night so that we can talk. Talk to me. Confide in me. What is it? Why this sudden change of attitude? Why did you change a date you and that man fixed all of a sudden? Mama, is this why you call me out by this time of the night? Of course you should have known that calling you at this time is because of this, so answer me. Mama, Osan is not the type of man I want to spend the rest of my life with. Dene! Why did it take you so long? Eh? Why did it take you so long to realize that he's not the kind of man for you? He proposed to you. You accepted. And he started training you. For four years, this man spent his money on you. You did not realize. All of a sudden, you just realize that he is not the kind of man you want to spend the rest of your life with. Mama, why is it that nobody's considering my feelings? Why don't you care about my happiness? Just when we care about your happiness. That is why we don't want you to make this mistake. Mama, I would have made the mistake of my life if I had married Osondo. Do you love my father? Of course I love my husband. Would you have married him if you don't love him? All these questions eh, are for you to justify your not marrying him, right? To love him. I loved him so much, but not anymore. I will tell you just one thing this night. Whatever you give out, that is what you will receive. Good night. Sandra. Can you excuse us? I want to talk to your friend in private. Here. Yeah. Oh, Chineke. This particular issue is driving some people crazy. But tell me, why are you more concerned about your thing? Is this marriage by force? Huh? Um, baby, la hot. You have heard it now. In private. Best man. So, Richard, what is it? Look, Josephine, all is not well with my friend. My friend is dying. I don't understand. How am I supposed to help? Am I a doctor? <sighs> Josephine, there's nothing in this world that has no solution. If he has offended wait, you... Wait, 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 calm down. Please, just hold on. Your friend has not offended me in any way. What could be the matter then? The relationship was not working well. So I had to call it quit. Um, I, I thought you could confide in me. Richard, I've told you the truth and nothing else. Look, Josephine, is there someone else? I don't understand. I'm tired. I'm fed up with everything. Is that not enough reason? Let's sit down. Let's talk. I'm in a hurry. Please, make it snappy. What is it? So, baby, please. I beg of you. See, just, just look back where we're coming from. To this point. 
all we have been through, the promises we give to each other. Please, it's not fair if you, if you, if you just abandon me in the middle of nowhere like this. Where do I go from here? Listen, just get up. Please, now. Get up, you're still kneeling. Get up. Get up. Get up. See, Osondo, yes. you did not offend me in any way. This marriage cannot work. Just try and understand me. Please, I beg of you, just try and reconsider, please. Try. Yeah. Just try, please. Huh? If this is why you called me here, I'll be on my way. Baby, please, please, please. Somewhere. Mm. Ogako? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I tried and tried, but network was very bad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you so much. <laughs> How was your journey? It was okay, but stressful. I know. I want you to tell me the truth. The absolute truth. Please. That's the only truth. Um, we have a kind of brother and sister relationship. Although, although sometimes he calls me his wife. Was he training you in school? Um, um, yes, but not with the intention that he will marry me. So. You never thought of the fact that he might have had the intentions to marry you after sponsoring your education. I understand, sweetheart. But... Osun is not the kind of man I want to spend the rest of my life with. Do you know before he gives me my school fees, he makes me cry. I mean, he, he breaks my heart all the time. friends for so long. I know it's hard to move on. But you just have to move on. And when you do this, you will find out that is the best decision you have ever made in life. But you know I love Joseph. I know. I know you love her so much, but you just have to let go of her. 
and move on with your life. Who knows what the future hold for you? This world is very dynamic, bro. No, yeah. One in two are you. six months. We're on strike. They have not paid us our salary. How do you people survive? You see me too, and you know the worst part of it. Nobody is saying anything or doing anything about it. We're just like that, looking. This country is dead. <laughs> but uh, my friend, just come out from there. Yeah. Let me get you cooler, please. Ooh. Yes. No, no, my brother. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Ah, you are my brother, my friend. Have you forgotten that? Yeah, we have cola. So you're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for the cola. Yes. Uh, Osando, but something important brought me to your house. Ah. So this will have to wait. Okay, since it's here, not yet. Let's. Osondo. Yes. You and I have been friends for many years. Yes. And we can consider ourselves as brothers because we come from the same community. You're very correct, too. I want us to be honest with each other. Okay. What is your relationship with Josephine? You know, boy, if you're the retired inspector. Well, like you said, you like us to be sincere and straightforward. Exactly. So I would like to go straight to the points. Please. Josephine and I have been in a relationship for the past six years. And he's very open to Everybody who knows us, especially people from our community, including you. Or are you not aware? No. I, I never knew. I've not been in the country for the past three years now. Oh, oh yes, my fault. Um, I was told you traveled to Holland. Yes. How was your trip? God is my strength. It went well. Yeah. Yeah. When I came to Enugu last two months, that's when I saw her. Josephine! Do you know him? Yes, I do. Josephine! Samuel! Wow! This. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! This is a surprise! What are you doing in Enugu? I, I came for a friend's wedding. Uh, yeah, I've been in Enugu for two days now. Look at you! Oh god! Yes. <laughs> um, please meet my friend. Um, he's like my brother. We're from the same community. Hi. Such a cute guy. I'm Samuel Bane. <laughs> Pleasure is mine. Wow. Who is it? Who is it? Baby, you're 
welcome. Thank you. Come in, sit down. Thank you. Wow, good to see you. So how is life generally? Life is good, everything's fine. That's good. So what would you like to take? Soft to do. Soft? Yeah, can I have a bottle of a soft drink? Anyone? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. So how is life generally? Fine, everything is okay. Um, it's been long you came home. Oh yes. I've been in Holland for the last three years. I missed home, so I had a comeback. I had the room at then, but it's okay. But how is everything? Are you okay? Yeah, I missed home. Mm. Feels so good to see you. Thank you look so beautiful. Thank you. And fresh. I probably you just eat uh, just egg and you know milk. And oh come on, you is look at your skin, girl. <laughs> Wait, are you are you mad? Oh, 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 no, 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 I just use this to scare men away. No way. That's not true. I'm serious. So this is fake? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> wow. I missed him. Yeah, I know. Babe, do you know he has already booked my flight ticket? And he just sent me the details on my phone. Are you kidding me? Hey, baby, the horse! See you on the towel. You know, be like us when they use bus, they work out. You use flight, they work out. Yeah, they know. Wow. But, wait, oh. what are you going to tell your guy? Must you know I'm traveling? Babe, no sets me up. Oh. What if he comes looking for you? What am I going to tell him? Tell him you don't know where I've gone. Be yeah, okay. Pick up your phone and call him. Tell him you're going to Lagos. Okay. What if he asks me who are you going to see or where are you going to what are you going to do in Lagos? Hey! hey. So you sabi do konamakin, you know sabi lie. Please tell him something, you know? You can tell him you you're going for your friend's traditional marriage. No be me, your spiritual friend now, you know. <laughs> Be a gentleman, huh? I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm Welcome, sorry. madam. Get the box from you. Wait, wait, wait. Here we are. Oh, wow. No. No. And uh, I have a big queue over there. Okay. And then um, this is where I. Quite a stressful journey. Yes, so, I 
It's time to get you freshened up. Let's go and get you freshened up, okay? Okay. Follow me. Right? Please, honey, calm down. What has come over you? That has come over me! Baby, will you marry me? Be my wife. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to grow old with you. Don't say no. I say yes. I, I can put it. Yes! Oh, I love you. I love you. <laughs> After the engagement. That's when I heard the rumor about your relationship with her. Did you ask her? Yes, I did. And, and she said there was nothing common between you two, except the fact that you were training her in school. That's what she said. You see, I did not make any mistake for loving you. Because my love for you was not for shame. It was a source of strength to me. I will not begrudge you because you were stupid. You followed money in place of the love that I have for you, the true love. It's okay. But one thing, I will never forgive you. It's the embarrassment that my kinsmen and I suffered right in your father's living room because of you. It will never be well with you. Eh? Back to sender. Eh? You haven't said anything. It just cost you and you didn't say anything. This cost cannot have an effect on me. Nonsense. I'm sorry now. Please forgive me somehow. Oh, thank God I met you here. What is the problem? There won't be any problem if you listen to me. But if you want one, go ahead and marry Josephine. And as soon as you do, you have declared yourself my best enemy. You have a good day. Osondo. That shows you a man. 
My son is now a man. <laughs> Mama. I'm very happy for you. At least for having this kind of idea. Hmm? I'm so happy. Thank you. We have to start looking for. Or oh, have you seen anyone? I'm going to go to Papa, I'm going to go to Yes, I have seen someone. She's from our community. It's your okay. Yes. Hey, who really? is she? Who is she? Our oh, Lord is good. All the time. Do we know her? Um, yes, you do, Papa. She's um, Obwefi's daughter. Oh. Obwefi from Amankwa. Oh, good. Very good. Um, Obwefi? Yes. The retired inspector? Yes. Uh, but I heard one of the daughters uh, has problem with Igwebike's son who wanted to marry her. Uh, yes, that's true. But they've settled the matter now. Mm, they parted ways amicably. No problem, Papa. Is she the one you're talking about? Yes, Mama. God forbid! It cannot be. It may be so cool. Mama. Papa. Shut up! I'm your father. And you must listen to me. That girl belongs to someone. She is Osando's wife. And everybody in this village knows that. Come. What is special about her that you can't look for another girl? Marriage with her cannot work. Look for another girl. My son, what your father has just said is the simple truth. She is Osando's wife. Eh? Osundo has been there for her all those years. Please, don't go there, Biko. The earlier, the better. For you, Father, I, I understand that you are angry. But you need to calm down and listen to me. I did my own investigation. And when I asked her, she said she had nothing in common with Osundo. God will punish that mouth that she used to say that word. But it could be true. How can she say she has nothing in common with Osundo? Osundo who has been busy training her. And could not even do anything for his family. Here, we men. Samuel, I refuse to believe that you were the reason she abandoned everybody on the day of her introduction. And any woman who could do such a thing is not worth a wife. Samuel Ongwam, Seba Hopota, you will not marry her. <sighs> My son, let us look for another good girl for you. So many of them. I am not interested. Whether you are or you are not, that girl must not step her foot into this family. May God see no more upon Never! Never! Tell that young man not to step foot in my house. Otherwise, I will cut it off. If you go in, now I have seen the person who, are, who has been deceiving you. Josephine. Josephine, I have asked you a couple of times why you will jilt a man that has done so much for you. You said nothing. I am sorry. I don't want to be a part of this meeting. Need that man. I'm sorry I broke your heart I'm sorry I tore your world apart I'm sorry I left you and hurt you so badly I'm sorry I make you cry I'm sorry for every time I lie Andy. <laughs> Mama, I am back. You are back. Eh, yeah. right now. Look at us like that. <laughs> <laughs> mango. Yeah. I know you like mango. <laughs> Thank you. Mama, how did you pluck it? Is he and I got it for me? Yeah. On my way back, I saw him plucking mango, so I asked him to get me some. Because yeah. I know you like it. Thank you, Mama. Hey, what's the lotus eat? I know you like oh, it. Wait, 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 let me just it first. I'll wash it. Eh? Mama. The truth is finally out. Here. Here. The truth, Kwa. Yes, Mama. What truth are you talking about? Mama, Josephine is getting married to Samuel. 
Josephine is getting married to Samuel. Samuel, Samuel, Samuel. Who? Who is Samuel? Ah, uh, my -uh, mama, son now. Samuel that lives in Lagos. Eh? The one uh, traveled overseas. Uh, 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 uh. And I know him. <laughs> I see. <laughs> hey. So it is because of Samuel that Josephine abandoned my son. Yes, so. Hmm. Okay. Do you know what? I am assuring her that she will never go unpunished. Amen. My good Lord will never allow Josephine to go unpunished. Amen. Hey! Josephine! <laughs> oh my Zuki. Hey, Josephine. Josephine. Oh. Hey. Let me wash the mouth. Man, this is unbelievable. Samuel really made a very big mistake. A hell of mistake. Well, I told him if he goes ahead to marry Josephine, that should have it in mind that he has signed a bond, signing himself out of my life, and I have declared him my worst enemy for life. Well, what did he say to that? Josephine. Josephine has really taught me a hell of lesson. Man, women are not to be trusted. I don't even think I will ever have anything to do with any woman again. Never. Not after what I've been through. <laughs> look, look. It's too early to conclude. You don't have to say that. There are still some good girls out there that really matters in our life. It's just a question of meeting them. Well, as it is now for me, no man really matters anymore. Trust me. Anyway, like I said before, you don't have to conclude yet. Mama. I'm sorry for calling you out by this time of the night. Just be very fast about it. Please, Mama. Mama, you're a woman like me. Please don't look at my attitude from a different angle. Look at it. From an angle of a woman who knows where her heart belongs. Mama, I've been in love with Osondo all these years because no one has challenged him. <laughs> Mama, Osondo is not romantic. He's not caring. Mama, he makes me cry. Josephine, you knew all this. Yet you kept quiet. Mama, since I knew Osondo, I've known no other man. I was just blindfolded. I never knew a man could be so romantic, so caring and so kind-hearted until I met Samuel. Osondo has been there for us. Not just for you, but for every member of this family. And God in heaven will not forgive us if you marry another man. Mama, please consider my happiness, my emotions, my life, Mama. 
please, Mama. Consider the fact that this is the man I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. How would I make a good home if I'm with a man whom my heart doesn't beat for? Marry him out of pity. If that will make you happy. I hope you know what that means, Mama. Father. I called you out separately because the, the way we reason it's different from the way women reason. I want us to discuss this issue one on one, face to face, like father and son. Since I was born, I've never disobeyed you, never ever. I've always brought honor to your name. And since I became an adult, You've never disrespected my opinion, Father. Father, I want your approval. Father, concerning this marriage, I can't go on without your approval. Please, it matters to me. But that woman doesn't. But look, Father, look, no woman, no woman is an angel. And, and no one is completely perfect. Yeah, she, she jilted the man that was supposed to marry her. The man that took care of her. But that doesn't make her a bad person. There are still some good things about her. I'm, I'm sure. Father, please. I need to live my life as a happy man. I need to know my family approves of my marriage. I need your blessing, Father. Please. Okay. I've had you. But give me some time to make inquiry. Listen, at this point, you don't have to listen to anybody. Just follow your heart, because your happiness is involved. Mary shouldn't be out of pity, because you're going to spend the rest of your life with that person. So just stop thinking and follow your heart. Everybody's against me. Nobody's considering my feelings. Not even my younger sister. Oh, just Finn, I just told you something. Don't listen to anyone, just follow your heart. Okay, come to think of it, Samuel is very rich. If it comes to us, he can pay us on whatever he thinks he has spent on me. Yes. It's okay, just stop that. <laughs> Baby, la <heart. laughs> It's okay. Hmm? It's all right. I, I should have been the one to come over to you, but I have my reasons for asking you to come over. You're welcome. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, I hope all is well. Yeah, yeah. All is very well. I just want to make some inquiries from you. Mm. I'm at your disposal. Thank you so much. It is about um, Ubuifi's daughter. I learned. You are the middleman between him and Osondo, he will be his son. Yes, I was. But now, I'm no more. Exactly why I sent for you. Tell me more about this. If I may ask, why are you interested in this matter? Well, let me go straight to the point because you're not a different person to me. Okay. My son is interested in the girl. <laughs> Your son is free. Our son is as free as bed in the air. 
Josephine and Osondo have separated. Oh, really? We are no longer together. Thank you so much for this one. But is that why you did not even care to offer me a little color? Not I'm in your house. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for it. You know, when you are you know, going for a very serious matter, guys, you forget some protocols. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for it. If what you called me for has to do with Josephine, Biko, allow me to go and sleep. Please. My husband, please. Permit me to say something about it. Take his money, Biko. Thank you. This man is not. I'm begging you on our daughter's behalf. Let us listen to her. Especially now that she's pretending for me or something. I have told you I want to use that thing to punish her. I... Yes. That man cannot marry my daughter. Mba, never. Remember that when there is no for And where are you going? Sir, I, I'm here to see you. You're wasting your time because you can never marry my daughter, never. Papa! Shut up. You. You deceived my daughter. You made her deal with a man who has suffered for her for years and the family. Now tell me, if you were in his shoes, how would you feel? I will not be happy. Then, leave my house now and never return. Papa, I do. Keep out of this. Papa, I... Shut up! If I ever see you around my daughter again, Go now. Just go. mother and she conceived you. From the day you were born, I have taken care of you up to today. I swear to God, if you make me regret ever having you as a daughter, I will send you to an early grave. <laughs> now get out of my sight.
my son. So you mean the accident your car had was beyond repair? Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Yes, but even if it wasn't, I have decided to let that car go with all the troubles. Uh, I don't want to put my money into it again. Hey, brother, huh? why not sell the car and buy a new? <laughs> I think you have a point, too. Uh, Good. I'll think about it. Okay. Um, Fabian was here yesterday. F for who? For what? Where? He said Mark summoned him. He wanted to find out more about the case with Josephine. I don't. I just don't understand it. Because I I don't know why you they're, they're getting you involved in all their wahala. I told Sam that if he wants to marry Josephine, he should go ahead now. After all, he still knows the way to obey his house. Oh, he's not scared of obey. <laughs> Ask me. <laughs> Don't you know that those men are very crafty? If they like, oh, they should be. If they like, they shouldn't. I've told Samuel what he needs to know. And I've, that's final about it. Good. If he goes ahead to marry Josephine, from that day, he has declared himself my best enemy as far as this community is concerned. Finish. That's all. Finish. Uh -huh. Exactly. Whoever that married her is your enemy. As if Josephine is the only woman on the I don't scene. understand, though. Ha! Nonsense. After all, my sister, you're a woman, too. Mm hmm. You know what? As if she's the only woman on the It's smiling in the sunlight. I'm sorry I broke your heart. I'm sorry I tore your world. I'm sorry I left you and hurt you so badly I'm sorry I made you cry I'm sorry for every time I lie I never knew you loved me so deeply Forgive me, I'm sorry Hello, baby. Hello, baby. How come you're still awake by this time of the night? I feel for you. My wounded heart bleeds for the man who has shown me so much care. Love and affection. My father's embarrassment was enough to destabilize the love you have for me. But it never did. My love for you has no boundaries has come to stay. Thank you for putting a smile on my lips again. You're welcome, baby. Kiss me, baby, so I can sleep well. So what are you doing here? So I... I came to correct an impression. What stupid impression is that? About what you said last time. Well, well, what about that? So I, You said I deceived your daughter. Yes, you did. You did. But it's not true. So I, I can swear with anything that I never knew she had a relationship with, with, with another man. Mm. I didn't know. 
<laughs> Osong is my friend. And I cannot betray him. So, I've been in Holland for the past three years. And when I got back, I met your daughter in Enugu. And we got along. When I got the information about her relationship with Osondo, I went straight to Osondo. Yes, sir. You can call him and confirm this story. I swear. He told me your daughter jilted him. And that they were no longer together. So he, he gave me a go ahead. He said he was okay. I swear. Production was yesterday. Brother. 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 Are you thinking about it? No, no. I'm not thinking about it. Brother, please. 
forget about it and move on with your life. Oh, don't let it bother you. Biko, please. What of you are medically okay? We are medically okay. Then what's the problem? Mm, it could be God's will. God's will? God's will that we won't bear children? God's time is the best. That's what I mean. Then what? Just be prayerful. Relax your mind. You are okay. Everything will be alright. Prayer should always be your companion. Pray without ceasing, and God will definitely see you through. Sandra, I pray. I pray always. In fact, I've virtually read the whole Bible. Why are you laughing at me for crying out loud? I pray all the time. No, seriously, I'm sorry. It's not like I'm laughing at you. But just continue to pray, eh? Pray without ceasing. I pray. But it's like God is silent to my prayers. Don't say that. God can never be silent over your prayer. Just continue to pray. And one day, He will definitely answer you. Trust me on that. My husband is probably losing it. I can see through his eyes. But you should know that the fault is not from you now. Like you don't know men. When the problem of childlessness is spelled out in the family, it's the woman's fault. That's true. You're right. But with prayers, you can prove them wrong. Huh? What an elderly man sees sitting down. A child cannot see even if he climbs the top of an Iroko tree. And when an ear refuses to heed to instruction or advice, when the head is cut off, it goes with it. What didn't I tell you, Samuel, concerning marrying Josie? Now it has happened. My dear wife, this is not the time to apportion blames. I think what we should be doing now is to look for solutions. Solution? Yes. Whatever and wherever you want to get a solution from, I don't want to be a part of it. Count me out. Mama, why are you doing this to me? I am not doing anything to you, Samuel. You brought it upon yourself. Excuse me. Mama. Mama. Everything will be alright. Everything is alright. Everything will be okay. Keep smiling in the sunlight. Here comes a new day. Everything is alright. <laughs> Mark, sit down. Your daughter-in-law is an Obanje. She has a spiritual husband. And without appeasing the spirit, she will never, never conceive. How do we go about appeasing the spirits? There are certain things you will buy as a sacrifice to appease the spirit before your daughter-in-law will conceive. Oh, man, man, who call on with it? How could call the book? Takrrrrrrrrr! Hey! Oh, boy, your mom. Oh, be sweet, gaga, gaga. Oh, be trapped. Well, Samuel, this is the least 
of the items for their cleansing. Like I told you, you don't have to relent. You and your husband must pray without season. Pastor, we have been praying. But it's as if God doesn't want to answer our prayers. No. God does not keep silent to one's prayer. His time is the best. His time is the best. His time is the best. Isn't it yet time for him to answer us? <laughs> that is why he is God. He is all-knowing. Alright? Whatever I'm doing is for the benefit of this family. Please don't, don't see it from a negative perspective. Let's just do it and still face God. You know what? Your little faith has been the problem to our success. What? Are you a hypocrite? Answer me, I'm are you? Not. You know I'm not. Then tell them. Tell them that your wife is not an Obanje. Tell them that the God we serve will hear our prayers. My wife is serious. Shut up! Between you and your wife, who is marrying each other? Samuel, I'm asking you. I wonder. Samuel, what is her reason? She says she belongs to God. And that she's not an Obanje. Well, let me tell you. There are no two ways about it. It is either she returns home for the cleansing, or you get a second wife. We are very eager. Repeat, we are very eager to see our grandchildren. Samuel, tell her that we also belong to God. Tell her that she has no choice but to come and do it. You heard your mother very well. Yes, I, I, I heard her. But is there no other way we can do this without her? No, there's no other way. She must be part of it. I don't want to be party to what we are going through. This is your life. So you live it. If Obunifu, you will see Whatever you see, you take it. Nam Bikoziano. Why do you want to turn your back on me now I need you most? Because no. You need me. But what can I do? If by going through the cleansing we make you bear children for your husband, then go ahead with it. Hey, Papa. You want me to go to the river for rituals just for me to bear children? Ne, because don't mind your father. You are not going to the river for any cleansing. Oh? She's your daughter, quite all right. Uh, but she belongs to another man now. Who has made a home with her? With her. So allow them to solve their problems themselves. Now you did it serious. Mm -hmm. She's not an Obanji. What is she going to the river to do? I don't know why you people are worried. Since the doctors have told you that both of you are medically okay. Eh? Mama, what you said is true. But how long will I continue hearing those words? Mama, because I was a young man. Just look at me. I'm not getting any younger. Ah, no problem, Mom. Just get ready for the cleansing. Ah. I want not to know. I believe in this only. I have said my own. Solve your problem. Everything is alright. Everything will be okay. Keep smiling in the sunlight. Here comes a new day. Everything is alright. Everything will be okay. Keep smiling in the sunlight. Everything is 
set. The goat and the other items are in the car now. So just get ready and, and, and let's go. Huh? Please, baby, let, let's do this. Okay? Doing this will not stop us from worshipping God. Please. Let, let's give Caesar what belongs to him. Please. So, you believe a man of one right? Look. Baby. My concern is for us to have children. That's all. I don't care if you're an Obanje or not. That's not my focus. Just do this, please. Do this for me. If you love me, please. Please do this for me, baby. Let's get this over with. I, I, I promise you everything will be fine. Please. <laughs> Just thing. My friend here told me about a place where she goes for prayers. She said that the woman is very powerful. Yeah, she's very spiritual. If she sees you, she will tell you everything about you. Yeah. Okay. That's the kind of person I've been looking for. I mean, someone that can tell me what my problem is. She is the right person for you. When can we go? I mean, today, tomorrow, anytime I'm ever ready. Don't worry, it's on Wednesdays. Just relax. Alright, I think I'll go with you. Okay. So, Kev, have you come?
Those Finn, you don't need to be disappointed. The woman didn't see anything on your head. Or do you want her to tell you something that she didn't see on your head? What did I do? Look at you that brought me. You received miracle instead of me. Ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, my dear. I need the miracle as well as you do. Seriously, like I said before, the woman did not see anything on you. Hmm? As far as you can believe in this woman, your miracle is on the way. How else should I believe in her? If I don't believe in her, would I be here in the first place? Don't worry. With prayers, everything will be fine. Hmm? You need to be prayerful. You were here last week, right? Yes. What is the problem? Why are you here? I've been married for years and I've not been able to conceive. I see. You've been married for years, yet no issue. Woman! The solution to your problem lies in your hands. Who is that man standing behind you with tears? Woman, what did you do to this man that made him vow never to hear cry of a baby in your life. That man is hot. His heart was broken. He lost everything because of you. Listen to me. You must go to him and ask for forgiveness. Go to him with your husband because he is aware of what I'm talking about. God will grant your request as soon as that man forgives you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Drop you off. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You have no skeleton in your cupboard. How come you didn't let me know when you got back? Why? I don't trust that woman. That's why I didn't tell you. And, and moreover, everything seemed plotted. Like someone told us everything about me. Honestly, I suspect Sandra. Oh my goodness. This issue of childlessness has led you to so many prayer houses already. It's enough. Stop. Do you know how many fake prophets that are out there? You need to put a stop to it, please. Please, stop. 
you visit all the all the prayer houses, don't even know who's infected with the virus. Why? Why are you here with your husband? Thomas say, well, well. Ah! You told your husband that someone gave me information about you. Isn't it? Your wife is stubborn. And that was why you took her away from a man who suffered so much for her years ago. Let me tell you, that man is not happy with both of you. Oh yes, and you will never see favor until you go and ask him for forgiveness. Listen to me, go you, go and ask that man, kneel down before him and ask him to forgive you and stop coming here. Forgive me, not because I deserve forgiveness from you, but because you deserve peace. Everything you are today, you deserve so much more because you're a real man. You make me who I am today. You showed me so much love, care, affection and kindness. You took care of me. Your word healed me. You were there for me when nobody else was there. I'm so sorry that I wronged you. Please. Please forgive me so that I can live a peaceful and fulfilled life. Please. I'm sorry I broke your heart. I'm sorry I tore your world apart. I'm sorry Stand up, I sit down. left you and hurt you so badly. I'm sorry I made I realize that it's good to be in love. But I also realized that it's very important to be in love with somebody who will not play with your heart and your emotion. Because you, you played with my love. You played my love like football. You even played it over the bar. Well, thank God for my wife. She caught it like a goalkeeper. She nurtured it and took care of me and helped to bring the best out of me. You know, Losing you then did hurt a lot. It hurt so much that I thought I wasn't going to be able to move on again. But when I found love again, I realized it was the best decision I've ever taken all my life. Our love to me was a lesson. 
Do you need hot? I also realize that there are people who are meant to be. There are people who will never be. And there are also those who will continuously be. As for you, my brother, I thought you were my friend. But I realized it was better to have an enemy. Enemies who declare to you right in your very before that they're your enemies. To, to have a friend like you who will backstab me. But life is a school. Honey. Yes, dear. Call my daughter for me, please. Okay. Excuse me. What this woman did to me, it hurt so much that I went down on my knees and I gave it up to God. Having seen everything that you're seeing here today, the sweet family, it will be very unjust of me to still begrudge her. Therefore, with the same mouth for which I cried, speak upon you today that it shall be well with you amen you would enjoy your marriage amen you will bear children for your husband amen you will bring peace to your home amen i declare that you are successful amen go and prosper amen thank you baby Why did you go to that extent? I wanted her to feel a, a little bit of what she put me through. Do, do you know what that girl did to me? She really dealt with me. Do you know what it means to abandon your own sister? When I trained her in school and my sister started at home, my only sister. I did not abandon Anne. 
I only asked her to give me just a little time. As soon as Josephine graduates, I will face her. That is in the next four years, Oson. Hey, Oson, why do you hate your sister this much? Why? Mama, I don't hate Anne at all. And she knows it. I'm only asking for just patience. Let her be just be patient for a while. And I'll face her. But son, do you want to train a woman who don't even know her future? Ha! Oh, son, do. Mama, please do not go there at all. Josephine has a future. And her future is connected to me. My own future, we are together in this. That which you put on, no? Your future is connected to her future. You don't have any future with her. You don't have any future. All I'm asking you to do is to train your only sister. That is what I want you to do. <laughs> don't have any future with her. You don't have any future with her. I never knew it was going to be that easy. But on the contrary, Anne showed me love like never. She was there for me. She supported me. She encouraged me. She's the best. I have always known Anne. As someone that is kind hearted. You know, I, I really don't know where to start from, like I said before. The things I went through. In the hands of Josephine. <laughs> Is it the embarrassment? What's on do I? I know we are not in good times. Josephine and I have established a strong relationship. And now, I want to marry her. So. Yes. Yes. I will only say this one more time. And now, like I said before, if you marry Josephine, if you ever marry Josephine, you've signed a bond to remain my worst enemy. Uh, Osondo, just to make things easier for us, let me pay you back for whatever you spent on her. Her school fees and any other expenses you've made. I'll pay you back. You just name the- Sam, get out of my house now! Oh, oh, oh Sandra, we, we, we can- Get out of my house somewhere! Look, just calm down. Get out of my house! Oh, idiot! Oh, oh, idiot! Brother! Sandra, can you imagine? Brother! Sandra! Brother! Tell him to get out of my house. Sandra! Oh, God! Get out of my house! He wants to pay me back every money I spent on just with Does he think I'm... Does, does he think I'm hungry? Woman, where is your husband? Is there any problem? Please call your husband for me. I don't have time. Nine. Papa Sandra. Hello. Yo. Hello. Oh, Sandra. Sir, we do it. I came here only because I have respect for both of you. Try and reach your son. Whenever you see him, tell him to stay away from me. He should stay very far away from me. Because if he dares come close to me, I swear by the gods of Alan, I'll kill him. Osondu! I'll finish saying what I want. Osondu! Better warn him. Tell him, tell him I said so. Tell him, stay away from me. What is the problem? 
Aslandı. Aslandı. I didn't know he was coming to your house. You shut up, you liar. In a year, come to my house. Let me tell you, the next time I spot both of you in my house, I'll make sure you die one after the other. And after that, even if I go to jail, I don't mind. Shut up! Don't mind him. Empty threats. Go to jail. Hello, no. Nonsense. Look at him. Just relax, forget about that, eh? Relax. My kin to my kinsmen and myself. Insults. Or even the accident that I had on my way to go look for her to find out what the matter was. On the day we were supposed to pay her bride price. She was nowhere to be found. <laughs> Baby. Everything is fine now, okay? At least you have me now. Hmm?
Are you vomiting? Mm. What did you eat? Same thing we ate since morning. Let, let me go and change so I can take you to the hospital, okay? No, 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 no. no. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Are you? Who did it? We are not fine, no. And that's why I'm calling you. What's the problem? Your brother has been vomiting since yesterday, and now he's hospitalized. Can I speak with you? No, you can't. He's very weak. Thank you. Started two nights ago. I woke up and saw him vomiting in the restroom. And the next morning I brought him here. Has the doctor been able to find out the cause? Um, immediately we came in, they ran a test on him. But up until now, they've not been able to clear me on the result. <sighs> okay. Let me see the doctor coming right now. So sad. You'll be all right, okay? Yeah? Prepare me. Yes, honey. Oh, yes. Okay, honey. That's what I want to eat. Okay. Do you want um, stock fish or dry fish? Just me, please. Make it big. Um, I'm also hungry. Okay. Okay. Just take care of him, man. Use light on
do you care for banana? Maybe do you care for maybe one or two before your wife comes back with the food? Don't worry, you'll be fine. <coughs> yeah? Brother.
know my son, my mama. It's okay. 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 This is someone else, right? Mm -hmm. Someone else, right? And, and took the money I was counting. I sent her. Papa, you did what? I sent her. I did. Why would you do such a thing? Knowing very well that the things I used in entertaining my friends, I got them on credit. I don't want to look at your face if I stand up from here. Which? Your plan has worked, Hawaii. But I can assure you that what happened to my son will happen to you. Oh, for my sister. <gasps> Papa? Did you hear that? Papa heard you loud and clear. He heard it loud and clear. The information written to us is that you killed my brother. Josephine. Josephine. Deny it. Oh, boom, madam. Me? Josephine Machuku, daughter of Obuefi, that I killed my husband. Mm -mm. I don't want to kill him. See it, daughter of Obuefi. You killed him. Obuefi, Ibu Goni, Masi Apo. Please, 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 They accused me of killing my own husband. My own Samuel that I killed him. Mama, what did I do? What did I do? Mama, what 
pained me was when they said what happened to the husband will happen to her. Meaning what? Ne, don't mind them. Nothing will happen to you. Oh no matter how wrong you go. Oh? Papa? No. Papa, you are not saying anything. You're just quiet. He is not in a good mood. Mama, you and Papa should go and warn those people. I am no longer comfortable with their utterances. I have said my own. I'll talk to your father. No, it's okay. Oh. Obwefi, this case is not a simple one. How do we handle it? Come on, my king's man. I've been short of words since my daughter returned yesterday. Obwefi, we don't need to fold our arms over this. Such an accusation can dent someone's image. You're right, oh, Nai. You're right. Because if nothing is done about it, it only means one thing. That our daughter is guilty. Exactly. Hmm. Our people say that after blaming the fly, it will surely end up in the pit with the cops. Ndibuasina, aguanti nanti ano, abilisi, inti solo. Everything I said have come to pass. If you go, my husband, please. This is not the right time to start apportioning blames. What we should be thinking about is how to prove our daughter's innocence. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. We have to do something urgently. Urgently. They may are correct. Something has to be done urgently. Yeah. You cannot fold an arm like this and start watching the event unfold. Mm -hmm. I asked my daughter several times. And she kept saying the same thing, that she did not kill her husband. She killed my son. She did not kill your son. She killed my son. I said she did not. She did. Let us speak the truth. Oh, oh is it going? Obo Efi. You said you've asked your daughter severally. Yes, I did. Nah. What do you have to say before us? I did not kill my husband. Oh, oh. You did. I can swear to anything. You heard what your daughter said? Yes, I heard her. And we are all solidly behind her. Yes, sir. In that case, I will have to consult with my kinsmen and then get over to you. Papa, it's a lie. Papa, I said it's a lie. We must resolve this thing here and now. I don't have time to go and consult anybody, please. Oh, 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 don't touch me. Oh, oh, don't touch me. Shalom, shalom. No! We must resolve it here and now. Let us do it the way you're going. Well. No, sir. Put. I said no. I said no. Resolve Let it us... here and now, please. Papa. Papa. Oh my fault for you go now. Let us do it that way. You go, put you, put you, put you, put you. Please, my elders, I have a question to ask. Please go ahead. Ask your question. Thank you, sir. Um, does a pregnant woman take an oath? Well, your question is in order. Because in Igbo land, a pregnant woman does not take oath. Uh -huh. So, why is my daughter's own different? Why would anyone even suggest that? Mama, I was the one that suggested it to them. My condition has nothing to do with this. Shut up! What, 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 what do you mean your condition has nothing to do with the oath? Do, do you know tradition? Papa, I will prove your tradition wrong by taking the oath with this pregnancy and nothing will happen to me. Why are we even having this, this meeting in the first place? I thought we agreed with our elders that I will take the oath. Right. Actually, you are right. Eh? This thing totally skipped our mind. 
It's too late to go back now, Papa. No, it's not little. Your life is involved here, Josephine. Nothing will happen to me, I promise. It is not a matter of anything happening to you. It's a tradition that a pregnant woman doesn't take oath. Um, but however, if I ain't lost, come calling. We'll tell them to be patient until after your delivery. No, Papa, I disagree with you. But listen to us. <laughs> Papa, don't shut me up. Don't shut me up. I'm tired of the situation. I'm tired. Let me take this oath and be free for once. If you don't want to go with me, I'll go alone. I knew it. Papa, Mama, if Josephine refuses to swear, I will kill her. Look at her. Whether she swears or not, it has been proven to everybody that she killed my son. Mama. That woman will not go scot free. She will not go scot free as far as I'm concerned. In fact, first thing tomorrow morning, I'll be in her house. She must wear. Okudele, calm down. This music is not for young ones, it's for the elders to dance. Papa, I disagree with you. I disagree with you, Papa. We are talking about my elder brother here, not an outsider. That's huh? why your father said you should calm down. Let him first of all present the matter to his kinsmen. Oh, mama, 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 um, her kinsmen, I will take time. It will take time. In fact, I will handle it my own way. And when you go there tomorrow, what are you going to do? Oh, Papa, I swear to God, I swear to God, if I set my eyes on that woman, I will not spare her. I will not spare her. Oh, but I did not go, huh? Take it easy. Calm down, my son. Let us follow it traditionally. What kind of nonsense tradition are we talking about here? Eh? A tradition that refused a woman to take the oath. Don't worry, we are going to handle it. Who is here? Where are Welcome. Hold your Where is your sister? Come this. Go and call for me. Go half for me. Like, go to heaven and hide. Go to heaven and hide. As far as this life is concerned, you must pay daily for my brother's death. Uh, 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 Okudiru, hold it there. My sister did not kill your brother. She killed him. Now let me ask you, it's not obvious. Why did she refuse to take the oath? She used her own mouth to suggest before everybody in our house. Why? I did not refuse to take the oath. Shut up. Shut up. Akwage, wait. As far as this life is concerned, I will not relent until you pay daily for my own brother's death. You lie. You cannot do anything. I cannot do anything. Yes. <laughs> Just feel Watch and see. Just watch and see. Just watch and see. Said, forget about him. <laughs> hey, God, never you're watching. The case is what I say. If her hand is not involved in some ways, why does she refuse to take the oath which she initially agreed to take with the elders? Why? Mama, even the elders who wanted her to take the oath knew the truth. They were just doing that for formality. But I was told she was even the one that suggested the oath taking. Okay. Uncle, that girl is very, very smart. She suggested it so that people will not suspect her. Yes. She should take that oath. They should not agree at all at all. She should take that oath. That she is pregnant is none of their business. Let her take the oath. Let her take it. Hey, girls of these days. Father, Lord, I thank you. It would have been my son. Mama, 
Honestly, Brother Osondo should go to church and do Thanksgiving. But that is the truth. Yes, that is the truth, Nanyo. Mm -hmm. That is the truth. What happened to Samuel would have happened to my son. Eh? Hey! Hey, Chukwaju! God forbid! God forbid! Mama, trust me. I would have killed her by now. Bam! It's not her portion. Hey, brother. Strangle her to death. such abominable words how could you possibly kill your own husband is it possible i even suggested to take an oath just to prove my innocence eh oath under this condition no no you know it's not possible now you can't swear you're pregnant for crying out loud that is the only way i can prove that i'm innocent my spirit is worried josephine they can go to hell and burn to ashes for all I care. Your life is more important to me. Inugo! Nothing will happen to me. <laughs> oh. Is your parents aware? Yes, but my mother is not in support of it. That is it! No, no! Show me any woman that will support a child to swear. Not just any child, one who is pregnant. Do you know the gravity of the allegation leveled against me? That I killed my husband? Oh, no, 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 no. This is too heavy for me. It's too heavy. I don't trust those fetish elders. They can be diabolic. The God that I serve is a living God. He's not dead. Long live Ah uh, uh, yes. Uh, I was sent to, to fetch you to the palace by His Royal Majesty. I hope all is well. I'm only a messenger. Adima, okay, go. Uh, let me change. I will come and see His Royal Majesty. Why is His Royal Majesty asking for me? Anyway, let me get to the palace. I will find out why he's calling me. Yeah. How did it go? Talk to me, somebody. How did it go? Mama, these people have not been our king. Shut up and don't say such a thing again. Our king is an intelligent man, and if he hears this, you are putting yourself into trouble. Don't say it again. So, give me the story. How did it go? Well, the king said we have to wait till after her delivery. Oh, I knew it would turn out like this. I knew it. Oh, Mama, that was why I said 
they lobbied our king. They lobbied him. Who could don't say such again? Hey, you will get us into trouble. Our king cannot be lobbied. Our king is an action man. Whether lobbied or not, don't say it again. She thinks she's smart. If she likes, let her carry that pregnancy for 30 months. I am here waiting for her. I'm not going to give her. Nne, you didn't have to be in the palace. Hey, his royal majesty was barking. Barking, vibrating. Backing at them for, for, for making such such arrangements. Even Did Mark? You? Mark was the first person who wanted to talk. His real majesty just shut him up. Yay. He didn't allow anybody to talk. Papa, I'll have to go and see the king myself. Give me. Don't just go and disgrace yourself there because they will throw you out of that palace. <laughs> Sister, listen to Mama. Please don't go. Hmm? Are you begging her? Mbao, Biko, wear your clothes eh, and then go to the palace. Whatever you see, you take. Neko yan azo. Oyan azo, each of these don't wiggy. Prepare and go to the palace. I thank God for our king. May he live long. The same name, the same. Ada, why do you want to go back to the city? Papa, shouldn't I go back to the city again? I've been around this village because of this swearing thing. And since it's over, I need to go back. Uh, well, I was just thinking that uh, you will stay back and uh, let your mother take care of you. Uh, your condition, you know? No, Papa. I need to go to the hospital. Moreover, the hospital I raised her from Antinental is in the city, not here in the village. And the specialist hospital, you know this is my first baby. <laughs> Are you trying to tell us we don't have specialists in this village? Can you listen to your letter? <laughs> no. Um, in support of what she said. Mm. Yes. Moreover, you know, there's no specialist hospital in this our village. No. Papa, the city is preferred. Uh, mm -hmm. In that case, uh, you have to go with Jane so she can help you out. Hmm? Okay. Well, that has been my plan. She'll go with me. Well, I wish you well. Thank you, Papa. Your mother will help you. God bless you. Welcome. Welcome, madam. Thank you. Where is my husband's car? Guess here, Sumo Oga can carry and come out. Okudiri. Oh, 
When was that? Excuse me, madam. I for only need two weeks. It's me, Josephine. Who the fuck are you calling? You gave me my number. Why are you calling me? I just came in now. Where are you? Woman, tell me why you're calling me and I'm just fucking call right now. I was asking Philip where my husband's car is and he said he took it away. My brother's car, not your husband. I'm the correction. I'm very good. I'm very good. I'm very good. I'm very Please, I am not in the mood right now. Bring back the car, Biko. It's okay. You'll see me right. Mister, what did he say? He said he'll bring back the car immediately. Mister, you should be caught. Why won't he come? Why won't he come? Is it his car? Just, just being concerned. Upstairs. Just take the bag upstairs. Okay. Life will be better. Things will surely improve. My door, I don't understand. Yes, your husband's younger brother locked the door. Okudri locked my shop. Sister, Sister why are you doing this to yourself? Hi. I don't who didn't lock the shop. Shouldn't be what we keep you in this condition. You're pregnant for your husband. And very soon you put to bed. And everything, I mean everything in this house will belong to your son. I have the strong belief he's a he. Josephine. What Jane said is true. You have to be strong because of your condition. This is not the appropriate time for this, oh? Oh, good day, why are you doing this to me? Josephine, put everything behind you. Go to bed first. Then we'll know the next step to follow. You know, go. Call him for me. Hmm? Call him. 
I should call him. Yes. Yeah, maybe call. What have I done to you? What wrong did that? What did he say? He caught the call. Hey, you mean he caught the call on me? This guy is wicked. He is very wicked. Whatever he's looking for, whatever he's looking for, he will definitely see it. He will definitely see it. Hey, brother, it was the king that ruled the matter. Otherwise, Papa Okudele and the king's men have resolved that she must take the oath, whether she's pregnant or not. But who took the case to the king in the first place? Mm, it was her parents, I think. Yeah. Oh, baby, those pregnant women take oath in your village. Well, the truth is that ugly situations require ugly action to take care of. <laughs> Baby, even at that, in my village, these things barely happen. It is an abomination. If you see what that woman did to us, if you see what she did to us, left for me, she's supposed to be born to life. I'm telling you, so don't even go there. And, <laughs> and, despite our atrocities, privilege is meant to be given to her. Don't you think so? See, the truth about it is, this old taking thing, who does even kill anyone? They don't work. It's just formality. Brother, not our deity. Nobody can bribe our deity. Our deity is very powerful. You see, that was why Josephine turned back. But just watch out. After her delivery now, she will still come up with another story. Uh, 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 uh. This time around, she's going to have the entire community to contend with if she does that. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's just forget about this whole thing right now, OK? So, I don't know, so what's happening in the village? How is Mama? Mama is fine. Village is fine. You look so beautiful. Thank you. Just <laughs> swing. There is no complication. Your child is okay. Doctor, this is a vent month. And you still tell me there is no complication. Yes, considering my test. There's no complication. Okay. But is it normal for one's pregnancy to exceed nine months? Medically, it's not normal. But, but what, doctor? What? Oh, God. Why me? Why me again? Josephine, please calm down. Don't get yourself worked up, okay? Your baby is fine. Okay, Doctor. If you say my child is okay and there is nothing wrong with me, what stops me from giving birth? You will give birth. I assure you that. Just calm down, okay?
Josephine. Sitting down and crying will not solve anything. All you need to do is prayers. Kneel down and talk to your God. And he will hear you. Eh? Sandra, I've been praying. I've been praying. I sleep in the church these days. How else should I pray? Continue to pray. Pray without ceasing. Cry to God and He will listen to you. And you? You're crying with her. You should be the one encouraging her and not the other way around. So wipe your tears. I'm not crying again. I'm not crying. Um, have she eaten? No. She has refused to eat the breakfast I made for her this morning. Ah, uh -uh. you see what I'm saying? A pregnant woman and you're starving yourself. Go and bring the food. I'll feed her myself. Hmm? Go. Come inside. I'm fine here. I was told you came looking for me. Uh, please, let's just go inside and talk. And I said I'm comfortable here. Please, Maria, stop looking for me. Stop coming to my house. My son that was married to your daughter, he's dead. So we have nothing in common anymore. Ah, Mbano. Hey, Rebecca, we still have something in common. Because my daughter, who was married to your son, is now pregnant. God forbid. Pregnant for who? For your son, of course. What is the essence of being pregnant for the man she killed? Does it make sense? Uncle, please. My daughter did not kill your son. Your daughter killed my son. And I thank God that she's suffering for it now. So it's true. So truly, you are the one tying my daughter's pregnancy. Ah, Rebecca. You have not seen anything yet. Oh, that's why you came looking for me. <laughs> Very soon you will come looking for my dead son. Come here, come here! You dare not walk out on me because I'm not done with you yet. The gods of our land bear me witness. Because I will not hesitate to kill you if you touch me again. Mwagi bufshafi ma o man ni buma da drama. I don't attend to people today. That is why there is nobody. Um, sister, please. You really need to help us. This is serious. Please. Your husband is dead. Yes, he is. Did you go to that young man with your husband as instructed? We did. And he accepted our apology. Your pregnancy is happening. Two of months. Jesus. Obi Mbandu. Human heart is dangerous than poison. So, someone's heart is responsible for our condition? That same man, his heart is still heavy. You have to go back to him again. Go and apologize again. Um, sister, please. You really need to help us, please. I'll pray.
Não vai, mamãe. Eu. Você não me disse que você estava vindo. Eu não quero que você me desculpe. Mamãe, você está bem-vindo. Oh, Sandy, mamãe. Não, não. Mama, how is Papa? Your father is sick. He is not fine at all. What is wrong with him? In your condition. He's very worried about you. Mama, Osondo is responsible for my condition. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. What did you just say? Yes, Mama. He's responsible for our condition. Though not spiritually because he didn't go to a native doctor or something. So, the idiot did not forgive you both? Who knows where he lives? Mm -mm, mm -mm, Mama, this is not a fight for you and I. Although Sister Oluwebube collected his number, I still do not understand anything. Mama, the sister said that his heart is still hungry with Josephine and her husband. Oh. Hell. Oh, son do because he no men or line Mama. Mama, I think the best thing we need to do is to confront him. We shouldn't beg him. We should confront him. No, 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 Jane. I disagree with you. This is the thing of the heart. The sister said that our heart is more dangerous than poison. So, comforting him doesn't help anything, doesn't change matters at all. I will kill myself for that Osondu. I will, I will kill myself as soon, as soon as I see him. Hi! It's okay. I believe everything is fine, eh? With You are a happy man. God has blessed you with children and wealth. Think of yesterday when you were in relationship with that girl, Josephine. You were poor. You fed from hand to mouth. But today, God has blessed you. You eat whatever you want. Don't you think it was the will of God for both of you to separate. You see, the Bible says in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 28. For we know that all things work together to them that love God and to them that are called for his purpose. Your sister, I'm forgiving them. You have not. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. No, I don't know. You went somewhere and did the prayer. Lord of justice, I come before you. You know me. And you know my relationship with you. You see how she has abandoned me. What she did is right. Be the judge. What she did is wrong. She no bad no peace. So it shall be. So, do I need to go there again to yes. give up? Yes, that's exactly what you will do.
against our wife. She did not come out with them to greet us. Eh, uh, Uncle, she will come. Uh, you know, we just uh, arrived and uh, they've not even offered us good at all. Yes, yes. That would be like, Uncle, as if it's his wife. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. Uh, we agree, uh -huh. but the moment you marry her, uh, she becomes uh -huh. a No, 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 no. My son's wife, not our wife. <laughs> 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 Why now, Please come. What is the problem? Talk to me. I am a woman like you. What is the problem? Problem like? No. There's no problem. Then where is Josephine? She's around. She's around? Then why hasn't she come to greet us? We have been waiting. She will soon come out. Trust me. Did they tell you anything? They said everything is okay. Osan, yeah. what do you have to say? Say something. Uh, let us break the news to them. After all, there is nothing that has no solution except death. You mean you should break the news to them? What else? Someone should call me Fabian Alessandro.
Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry it happened this way. I couldn't find any possible means to tell you. I don't want to get married until after graduation. I'm so, so sorry. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. For letting you down at this point in time. Aware that my people are seated in your father's living room right now, waiting to pay your bride price as agreed by both of us, Josephine. Why? I know it will happen this way, but it was so difficult for me to tell you. Sondo, you've done nothing wrong to me, but I just can't marry you. You know, I was actually thinking that I was dreaming. But now it's done to me that this is reality. Just, just for the last time, look straight into my eyes and tell me you never wanted to do this. Go ahead and say it. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. I can't be sure what I'll do. Trust me. Baby, I understand how you feel right now. But on the other hand, you need to reconsider. That woman is in pain. So? Yes. Now look at it from this angle. She is 12 months pregnant. So? Means when a woman is 12 months pregnant, that means she is 12 months in prison with heart level. Have a, come on, baby. Please, if reversing the prayer you have prayed on her behalf will solve this issue, then you go ahead and do it. Please. Yes, brother. She is right. You have to go. So that if by tomorrow anything happens to her, you will be free. Baby. You know you're the best husband ever. No man can ever understand me the way you do. Please, I know you respect my opinion. Ah, uh, uh, brother. You, you see, that will not work for me this time around. I am ready to disappoint you. Ah, uh, brother. If you guys don't want me to sit here comfortably with you people, I'll go upstairs to my room. I have a TV in my room. Don't forget.
Sister Sandra, my, my sister wants to see you now. No, no. Okay, okay.
Is my daughter all right? Yes, your daughter is fine. See me in my office. Office now. Eh. Okay. Come on, We need someone to sign and do it for us. I can actually sign a doctor. Yes. No. We need someone from her husband's family. Hi. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Call him, call him, let's just call him. Oh no. It's me, Jane younger sister. What if my sister is in the hospital and the doctor says she needs to see me? Yeah, oh put it. This is Josephine's mother. Hey, you need to come to the hospital now. Yes. She's about to undergo a CS and the doctor needs you to sign. He just caught the call on me. Hey! 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 Mama, what are we going to do now? Mama, Mama, let's go back to the doctor, please. I can sign this enough. Okay, we got it. Huh? I can sign. Doctor. Uh, doctor. Doctor, you know me too well. Our husband's younger brother who called cannot come now. If her mother cannot sign, let me sign. Let me stand out for her. She's my best friend. Please. Are you sure? Yes, very sure. Okay then. You sign for me. Okay. Write your name here. You sign. Okay. Your daughter is fine with her bouncing baby boy. Very, very strong spirits. Mm -hmm. Do you know since I was born, I've never been to any native doctor's house. The only thing I do is once there's a need, I go down on my knees and I ask for it. I ask God for it. And at his own time, he supplies. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so Mama used to say that anybody that wrongs you doesn't go unpunished. Oh, oh baby. You know, I do not like such weak spirit that do not forgive. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you know that? I don't really believe what that sister said, though. Until now. I just believe it because the truth is out. Oh, you never believed? Uh, keep being an unbeliever, dear. <laughs> yeah? Don't let me cry for you. Because uh, if not, eh, you see something. I hear. I hear. See, let me tell you. My own spirit is very strong. That uh, Even the Bible even said itself that greater is it that is in me 
that the one that is in the water. Smile, you see. Preach! Thank you. Oh, bye bye. Oh, no. Okay, take care of yourself. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Thank you so much. Bye bye.